你即要平安，今日是十嘅二十个，是十嘅分最后一个主日。因为债政嘅原因，你仍然无法杀急聚会。但是希伯来书第十章二十个，即提醒咱唔通停止聚会，特别是关鬼事无聚会嘅人。所以咱继续用网络 internet online 嘅办法嚟杀急聚会。关咱哋几多当间彼此嘅纪念，互相嘅祈祷，使得嚟压解即个真正困难嘅债政。咱用上帝话来开始今日咧扎基嘅崇拜，是变第七十三篇第二十五节，先生你讲，独立以外，地铁顶我有一座咧，独立以外，地对照我也无所爱慕嘅。Home had I in heaven but you, and had on earth had nothing I desire beside you。上帝是咱唯一所敬拜、唯一所仰望嘅对象，咱使佮用心灵诚实来敬拜咱嘅上帝。
even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, your perfect love is casting out fear. And even when I'm caught in the middle of storms of this life, won't turn back, I know you are near. And I will fear no evil, for my God is with me. And if my God is with me, whom then shall I fear? Whom then shall I fear? Oh no, never let go through the calm, through the storm. Oh no, never let go, never high.差不多只有十分之一的人参加教会这个崇拜，会参加教会的敬拜祈祷会 reset。为什么真侪人无参加教会敬拜祈祷会呢？我相信有无相关的原因。其中一个真重要原因，因为唔知啊敬拜祈祷会的重要性。当然，咱来做个个人的敬拜祈祷，但是咱三个敬拜祈祷的时阵，咱有一个全新的经验。面对现在，咱无法三个。聚会就一个，有当三级祈祷，伊个机会阁扩加会宝贵。加拉太书第六章第二节
，伊讲咱来当大都互相当大起来，安尼就完成了基督的律法。这个人面对困难的时阵，咱总是比较软弱；咱三个人面对困难呢，咱的生命就显得更加的刚强。第十个二十不够三十。拜三高拜高，是恁来教会三日金节祈祷的日子。这三暗阿弥不点，咱三个主节，三个祈祷。这三天阿，这三日阿弥，教会所有聚会要暂停，请做 Light Group、Journey Group、Bible Study Group。恁三个主节，三个来祈祷。第两千二十年都要开始准，无人会受够有这个 Covid nineteen 这个在这个在情。但是有这样代志，咱有当肯定，上帝永远是掌管过去、现在、将来的上帝。伊是一位有，好咱有生命当有突破 breakthrough 的上帝。所以咱邀请你，三个来参加教会这三日的敬节祈祷的聚会，好咱三个明白上帝，来经验上帝的心意，好咱有一个真真好的来结束人生二十年。关上帝祝福人，咱这三日我准备杀度。Hello, Jimmy. Peace, brothers and sisters. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the Gospel of Luke. Let's resume our series on the We'll continue to use the book of Malachi to illustrate our message. We know the book of Malachi has a very special pattern. I believe that we know the book of Malachi has a very special pattern. I believe that we know the book of Malachi has a very special pattern. I believe that we know the book of Malachi has a very special pattern. I believe that we know the book of Malachi has a very special pattern. I believe that we know the book of Malachi has a very special pattern. Question and answer. In Malachi, there are seven topics, seven questions, seven answers. In the book of Malachi, there are seven topics, seven questions, and seven answers. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. Our first message was talking about rethinking God's love. How have we weird him? You asked, by saying, "All who do evil are good in the eyes of the Lord, and He is pleased with them." Or, where is the God of justice? See, I will send my messenger, who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly, the Lord you are seeking will come to His temple. The messenger of the covenant, whom you desire, will come, says the Lord Almighty. But who can endure the day of His coming? Who can stand when He appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He will purify the Levites and refine them like gold and silver. Then the Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness. And the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord, as in the days gone by, as in the former years. So I will come near to you for judgment. I will be quick to testify against sorcerers, adulterers, and perjurers, against those who defraud laborers of their wages, who oppress the widows and the fatherless, and deprive aliens of justice. But do not fear me, says the Lord Almighty. I, the Lord, do not change. So you, O descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. Thank you. 咱继续用一个考题、一个问题、一个答案来思想今仔日信息。We'll continue using the pattern: one topic, one question, and one answer to discuss this message. For you, how can you use all the Malachi scriptures to make sense of this message? To make it easier for you to understand what's in the book of Malachi. This question, the first topic, the first chapter, the first verse, 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 the first
in the Hebrew text, it means to wear out, to tire out, to bore to death. And we can know from context about this passage. We know that this weariness was caused by the false accusations by the Israelites to the Lord. And they have wearied the Lord. That they could no longer that he could no longer tolerate them. Because the Israelites were accusing him. In fact, they were just using their words to find an excuse for their behavior. So, so the Lord raised a topic. You have wearied me with your words. One question. Let's look at chapter 2, verse 17. You have wearied the Lord with your words. How have we wearied him, you ask? The Israelites refuse to admit that they have wearied the Lord with their words. And the prophet said, By saying all who do evil are good in the eyes of the Lord, and he is pleased with them. Or where is the God of justice? It turns out the Israelites were seeing a social phenomenon. Those who do evil are not punished. In fact, they're being blessed. So And they're saying that the Lord is pleased with them. There is no retribution for those who do evil. Where then is the God of justice? And this is a social phenomenon. Those who do evil, the deceitful, the liars, they grow richer and richer. Those who have power, non-stop, oppress the poor. They oppress the powerless. And it's as if we don't see the Lord give them their due. Perhaps we too are asking this question. Where then is a God of justice? We are such, we're confused and being deceived by such a so, social phenomenon. So church, we must view the phenomena of, seeming, of seemingly injustices from a spiritual perspective. So today's topic is rethinking the view on phenomena. Well, church, social injustices is not only a, a thing of today. This has already occurred in the time of Job. We can see this in Job chapter 21, verses 7 to 10. Why do the wicked live on, growing old and increasing in power? They see their children established around them, their offspring before their eyes. Their homes are safe and free from fear. The rod of God is not upon them. Their bulls never fail to breed, and their calves calve and they do not miscarry. In the time of Job, this social injustice was already present. And Job was a man who lived way before Abraham. This was already present 5,000 years ago. And in today's world, I have served as pastor for 30 years. I have seen a lot of unjust things happen. There's a, a, fear, a couple who fear the Lord who has served the Lord in the church. And as they went to the bank to do a withdrawal, they were killed and they left a child. Let me ask you, where then is the God of justice? And there was a family. Five of them went to play. And as they came home from the Gaitai, they were hit by a, by a trailer truck. And five of them died instantly. 
。跌最數禮拜嘅時準。And in a funeral service。各位瓜叉跌瓜嘅頭前。There were five coffins in front of me。請問公嘢上跌跌得落？ Let me ask you, where then is a God of Justice? Which is who who? There was a couple. So adopt now this kid na. They adopted the child. How this kid na? Take care. How this kid na? Come this kid na? Ki ki ki. Ki to han ki lai. They raised the child. They brought him to school. Get go this kid na. Just get kept up. But this this kid uh was taking drugs. Get go who did it? And one day. Do get go lai tao ji. He went home to steal money. Do do ye lao pe kapi a ji. And he met his father and his sister. And he stabbed his father, his mother, and his sister. And he stabbed his father, his mother, and his sister. Chairman, let me ask you. Gong Ye Xiong Di Di Da Lo. Where is the God of Justice? Xiong Di Jiao Hu Ying An Ni Kuan Ni Mun Dui. How can God respond to such a problem? Let me ask you. 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 This question. Why do we have such doubts? Because we have such doubts. 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 善有善报，歹有歹报，拉善未报，是点正未到。Good will be repaid with good, evil will be repaid with evil. If it does not happen, then the time has not yet come. Then in the quan in my life, in our concept, 创歹大事人的确受报应。People who do evil must be must be judged. 但问题是，咱看到这个现象的中间。But the phenomenon that we're witnessing today, 创好大事人无好的报应啊。It seems like those who do good are repaid with evil. But those who do evil are are not judged at all. So he gong ye shong de di da lo ga. And then so we're wondering where is the God of Justice? The Chinese gong si mit. What do the Chinese say? The Chinese gong ti mo mak jiu. They would say that the heaven is blind. Kia yi su do si san kuan. It actually means the same thing. So then le kua ma shong de jiu gai da zhuo ne mun dui. So let's look how the Lord answered this question. Did the first? Um, ta yong hian shong lai mong lun shong de gong yi. Do not recklessly conclude about God's justice from phenomena. We must have a holistic understanding of who God is. We cannot use the present situation to judge God. It means to jump to conclusion. It's called jumping to conclusions. This young soulling the way like Isaac. In using spiritual terms. This is soulling the time. This is spiritual short-sightedness. Then you take the past five years. That just get conclusion. We have been using the past 100 years to make a conclusion. You say one hundred years is long. You might say that a hundred years is a long time. Yes, but one hundred years and eternity is not equivalent. Please, one hundred years is long. But if you compare one hundred years with eternity, let me ask you: Is one hundred years a long time? I say one hundred years is not even a second. I'll tell you: one hundred years will not even look like a second. Long is too long. Man is arrogant. Using short sighted vision. Using a short sighted vision. Short time of time. Using a brief span of time. To judge the eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He would use that to judge an eternal God. He See, I will send my messenger, who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly, the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. This the singing tequan lang lang e lin bud. This passage talks about two characters. My messenger and the messenger of the covenant. My messenger is who? Who is my messenger? This is the one who prepared the way. This is the one who prepared the way for the Lord. Who is it? We know who it is. Because the Lord Jesus Christ has appeared. Because this person has already existed in the New Testament. This is John the Baptist. His name is John the Baptist. Because after the book of Malachi, after the book of Malachi, the Lord did not raise any more prophets. After the book of Malachi, the Lord did not raise any more prophets. After the book of Malachi, the Lord did not raise any more prophets. After the book of Malachi, the Lord did not raise any more prophets. After the book of Malachi, the Lord did not raise any more prophets. 
Kapiban Tolo Lang John the Baptist was John who prepared the way for the Lord. He was the Chu E Su Jia. He was the Lord's messenger. Sang a si Libe the Su Jia ne? Who then is the messenger of the covenant? Libe the Su Jia is the Chu Ya So Kido. This himself is the Lord Jesus. He Tou Jia Yok Xin Zha Zui Lang. He is the Word who became flesh. Lang Ba Di Gao Xing Den Nai Men Ge Jing Xiong De Xing Den. And he was the one who entered the temple. The cleansing the temple and cleanse the temple twice. He gave so many lang did not take a sin yoke. And he made a covenant to those who believed in him. He said in Matthew chapter twenty six. And we can find this in Matthew chapter twenty six. And we call this the communion. Just use 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 Answer how the Israelites were misjudging him. Because the first time the Lord Jesus came, his mission was to save sinners from sin. He's here to tackle the problem of sin and death. Let's look at Matthew chapter one verses twenty one. He says, "She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus." Because he will save his people from their sins. When the first, when Jesus came the first time, he was meant to die on the cross. To save us from sin and death. On the cross, this satisfied God's love and His justice. God loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And this is the highest expression of His love. However, this is also the highest expression of His justice. Because the Lord, when the Lord Jesus died on the cross, He defeated all the sins. And the Lord's justice has been uh, has been satisfied. So in CBK, so on the cross, 将上帝主爱及上帝公义完全显明出来。We can clearly see His love and His justice. 当然仰望 CBK 时准。So when we look at the cross, 这是上帝公义的所在。We will look at God's justice. 因为 CBK 是上帝。Because the cross is a proof of God's judgment of sin. Number two. Let's view God's justice by its final outcome. What does verses two to five talk about? These four verses talk about the second coming of the Lord Jesus. He will judge the whole earth. And chapter three, verses one, is talking about him coming the first time. For the sake of our sins, he died on the cross. He is the Lord. He is the Lamb of God. But from verses two to verses five, it's the second coming of the Lord. And he will arrive as a King of Kings and as the Lord of Lords. He will be the one who judges the whole earth. He is the Lion of Judah. You you look when he comes here the second time. It says here in chapter two verses chapter three verses. He 来也是准，上爱当得起呢。伊显现的时准，上爱徛一条嘞。因为伊真就炼金的人的血，真就漂泊人的肝。But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. So he also did it by the second time. So when the Lord comes the second time, he change your hair. He will be like fire. He will be like launderer's soap. 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 He will be like launderer's So I will come near to you for judgment. I will be quick to testify against sorcerers, adulterers, perjurers, against those who defraud laborers of their wages, who oppress the widows and the fatherless, and deprive aliens of justice. But do not fear me, says the Lord Almighty. You see this? Limkun, simpa, 
最见证这三名书。Look at these words: near judgment and testify. 这三字都是法庭用的字。These are words used in the court of law. 上帝必真做一个法官，审判全队。God, the Lord will be like a judge, and He will judge all the people. 包括活着嘅人，还是甚至已经离开世界啦。He will judge both the living and the dead. 任何人也是假邪术嘞。He will judge the sorcerers, the adulterers, the perjurers, and those who defraud laborers, those who oppress widows, and those who deprive aliens, those who do not fear the Lord. No one will be able to escape the judgment of God. But this is the second second coming of the Lord Jesus. So we must use the final outcome to view the justice of the Lord. Where is our problem then? We want to see judgment now. If God does not judge those who do evil, God then must be unjust. Church, we are too short-sighted. Because we We overestimate ourselves. What does this mean? If the Lord judges those who do evil immediately, you think you and I will stand here today? I tell you, the moment we sin and the Lord judges us, we will not have a pastor long time ago. You will not have a pastor a long time ago. I would have been killed by the Lord a long time ago. But I would also think that I have no sheep anymore. You would all be dead as well. So the church will have no pastor, no congregants. May God help us. In Psalm 73, the author is named Asaph. Asaph is a very good experience. Asaph has a good experience, which can help us understand this phenomenon. Because in the time of Asaph, his naked eyes saw this social injustice. So we can see this in verses three to eight. 你讲我我哋派人及狂傲人享平安，就心怀不平。意思嘅时阵，无听听，伊嘅快乐真真强壮，无钱就白人受苦，啊，无钱就白人遭到灾难。For I envied the arrogant when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. They have no struggles. Their bodies are healthy and strong. They are free from the burdens common to man. They are not plagued by human ills. 所以骄傲天就练啦，多在你的暗棍的顶面；强暴天就杀，看你的辛苦，夜幕就未真白突出来。伊所得到的，皆伫心内所受的。伊笑人，碰到恶意，去讲去批评、批人的话，讲话真遭自告。Therefore, pride is their necklace. They clothe themselves with violence. From their callous hearts come iniquity. Their evil conceits of their minds know no limits. They scoff. And they speak with malice. In their arrogance, they threaten oppression. This is what the psalmist saw. And 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 this is what the And they fatten themselves. Si e son singgu jin kyong jong. And when they die, their bodies are healthy. Then tampok ay tong ko do mo. They don't have not even swallowed the bit of suffering. Jin jin hou si e. This is a good way to die. So, so si lang jo jin ka conclusion. So the psalmist made a conclusion. Jap sa ka jap ko jat. In verses thirteen to fifteen. Ah, ngos si jai do yen ke jin liao ko ay sim do yen soi chiu bing bing mo ko. Yin mei gua zhong li zhu de zai lan da li ki lai xiu cheng ji. Wo la gong wo bei an ni gong. Surely in vain I have kept my heart pure, in vain I have washed my hands in innocence. All day long I have been plagued, I have been punished every morning. If I had said I will speak thus, I would have betrayed your children. So, then, just now, long ago, just now, just now, conclusion, just a conclusion. The there are two aspects to the conclusion of Asaph. 对伊来讲，伊讲伊是讨厌最好人啊。
For him, he lived a life in vain for being a good man. Because there are no there are no rewards for being a good man. In the in the perspective of the Lord, he said, "You have treated your people deceitfully." This is like it's as if the Lord is pleased with evil doers. This is quite similar to what we discussed earlier. All those who do evil are good in the eyes of the Lord, and He is pleased with them. But praise the Lord. The psalmist did not stop there. In verses 16 to 18, we see a turning point. When I tried to understand all this, it was oppressive to me, till I entered the sanctuary of the Lord. Then I understood their final destiny. Surely you have placed them on slippery ground. You cast them down into the ruins. The psalmist could not understand no matter how hard he tried. And in the end, he went into his sanctuary. And he hum humbly asked the Lord. And the Lord made him see the answer. What did he see then? It seems that he saw that the Lord has placed the evildoers in slippery ground. That they, that they will drown in their own ruin. And the psalmist understood. When the evildoers are not judged in this lifetime, it means that the Lord has already begun to judge them. I don't know if you really understand this. Because it means that the, these evildoers will never turn back again. So you That their their path is only one way into destruction. Do you think about it? Long long In the story of the prodigal son. We are very familiar with this. He left his home. And he, he, he met a famine. And he used up his, all his money. And his friends abandoned him. And he was starving. He even ate the feed of the pigs. People would not give him food. And he realized, he came to his senses. He went to look for his father. And this was turning back. Now you think about this. If the prodigal son left the home, and another story happened. Everything was very good. He became richer. He gained more friends. And he gained more women. Let me ask you, Will he turn back to his father? He definitely will not. So remember this important thing. When he experienced suffering, it is the Lord waking him up. So So church. When you see people who oppress the weak and they don't seem to get recognition, don't be sad. Pity them. For they are already experiencing the judgment of God. Chairman, Let me ask you, do you see this? The third, let's use the perspective of history to view God's justice. In Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, I, the Lord, do not change, so you, O descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. The Lord told the Israelites, You are not destroyed. Not because you have done anything righteous. You did not perish. Because I am an unchanging God. The Lord brought them back thousands of years in history. When He brought them, when they entered to the Promised Land, and the Israelites sinned again and again. They worshipped idols. The whole land was filled with blood. And the Lord judged them. And in 720 BC, 
The Lord used the Assyrian Empire to destroy the Northern Kingdom. And in 584 BC, the Lord used the Babylonians to destroy the Southern Kingdom. Judah was in exile in Babylon for 70 years. But then the Lord used Cyrus, the king of Persia, to allow the exiles to return home and rebuild the temple. These are all manifestations of God's love and His justice. They asked God, why did you not judge evildoers? Because if according to their standards, them and their ancestors have sinned again and again. They would have long been destroyed. But the Lord, the Lord showed them forbearance. Church. We always want forbearance for ourselves, but we do not want to give the same to others. What does this mean? When we make a mistake, we ask God for mercy. But when others make mistakes, we ask God to judge them. Church, this is not how it's supposed to be. The Lord does not change. He treats everyone both with love and with justice. And we treat we towards other people must also be the same way. There should be love and justice. There must be love, justice and love. These two things must exist at the same time. In Psalm 73, there's a very interesting conclusion. When Asaph was enlightened by the Spirit, he said this, I was senseless and ignorant. I was a brute beast before you. When the Lord enlightened him, he acknowledged his foolishness, his ignorance. And he was very careless before the Lord. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help us. Because for, may the message enlighten us as well. We have seen many uh, unjust things happening. Whether it's in the society, in our church, maybe even in your families. Let us use God's perspective to treat this phenomenon. Let's not be senseless and ignorant. In Romans chapter 12, verse 19, there's a very famous statement. It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. Church. The Lord will avenge. Perhaps not now. But the Lord is a just God. Where is, a, where is the God of justice? The God of justice is in our presence. May God help us. Let's pray. Hogun 因为上帝公义有家己的时间 Rethinking, turning back to God.
装五上帝。一礼拜，恁来收上这个 message。一礼拜个三度，该别说。